hopping right into meal one. The first thing that I do when I get back home is I make myself this little uh, this little creatine and electrolytes drink that I make with me. Um, I'm probably making this thing like literally every single time for the past, I don't even know, for the past few months. So let me grab some water. Focusing, focus please, so they can see it, thank you. And this is the uh, aminos right here. I don't know if I focus it or not. Um, but yeah, I take these two every single morning, one scoop of each. Uh, creatine, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, I never really took creatine, like ever. And like, since I started like working out like creatine, the only stuff that I would really use was protein powder. Like I was like, I don't need creatine, I don't need all that stuff, like whatever. Creatine is the most studied scientifically, scientifically studied supplement for natural lifters. So creatine, essentially what it does is just holds water in your muscles. So you look a little more full, which for like, you know, if you're not, you know, doing other type of supplements, the bigger you can look, the better naturally. <laughs> um, so yeah, bro. So I do one scoop of creatine, which is about five milligrams every single morning. Uh, one scoop of the aminos. The ECAs are very good because they have a bunch of the aminos that's going to help your muscles relax, going to help with soreness, fatigue, recovery, all those things. So I try to prioritize getting this drink in every single morning. Like I'll do my cardio, make this drink, go to class, get my breakfast in and stuff like that. I try to do that every morning, bro. No, 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 uh, no misses. And it tastes pretty good. Honestly, the the flavor of aminos that I just showed you guys is uh, is like it's tropical pineapple juice. But it tastes almost like a pina colada. So it's like in the morning, like I'm drinking creatine and aminos, but it tastes like I'm having a pina colada. So it's like, okay, like this is a W. Um, so yes, so this is the drink and now we will get right into the meal. So I pretty much have recorded a full day of eating for you guys, but the audio got messed up. My mic didn't re record the sound or whatever. Um, so what I did is essentially I laid out every single thing that I eat during the day, supplements and food, and the drink that you guys already know about because I just recorded a whole thing. The mic did pick up on that. Um, so all of this day to day is going to be about 206 grams of protein. Um, I'll walk you through everything that I'm eating and then also the philosophy behind why I'm eating it. So. First meal of the day, always in the morning, is after cardio, is going to be a full cup of egg whites, two eggs, and a protein bar. Um, that meal is 432 calories in total. Um, if I tell you how many, how much protein is in that meal, it's 40, about 50 grams of protein in the morning for your first meal of the day. Um, from there, I'm not really that big on lunch. Like I'm usually a little hungrier in the morning, and then I'll have like a shorter lunch just because how I am. If you're someone that maybe wants to eat less in the morning but more at lunch you can kind of like flip-flop your calories a little bit so that's going to be the first meal of the day is the two eggs a cup of egg whites protein bar fifth about 50 grams of protein 432 calories i'll put the stuff somewhere on here on the screen then from there for lunch i do strictly to 200 grams of protein another protein bar and then this meal right here is going to be about 60 grams of protein so Small point, just from like talking through the breakfast until the lunch, if you've seen a the theme at this point, we haven't really had much carbs, if any, actually. So the reason that I'm doing that is I learned that you kind of have to start saving your carbs better for when you're going to go work out. If you're trying to maintain like not bloating and not trying to have like your stomach bulging out or whatever, what you can try to do is try to try to maintain just strictly protein during throughout the day. And then throughout night when you're about to train, then you could put some carbs into the diet. So these two meals is pretty protein heavy, but that's because I want to try to like not have my stomach bulging out or whatever. Don't want to be bloated, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's the theory between why I'm staying with just protein. Um, and then when I go to work out, I might throw in like carbs. It could be like a pasta. It could be rice cakes. It could be whatever you wanted to, cream of, cream of rice, cream of wheat. Uh, you could put whatever you want to in that. Um, so that could be like your little like interim meal in between working out and like your lunch. I don't have that here, but usually it would be like that rice cakes or some pasta or whatever. Um, no, one moment. Now, 
going to like the workout supplements wise these are the two supplements that i use at the moment um they're both by offline the offline burn or the offline pre the offline burn has been my go-to simply because it's a fat burner and a pre-workout so it has all of like the qualities that this pre-workout has but it also has ingredients that turn into a fat burner which allows you to sweat more which allows you to burn more calories um, i've talked about supplements a lot like you don't necessarily need supplements but they do intensify your workouts and could help you like in your journey of weight loss weight gain whatever you're trying to do so they are good to have so two options i either have a pre or i have the burn um, and i'll flip flop between those two then once we're done training and I come home, I'll have this. You guys know for like the longest, I was on like chicken and rice grind forever. But recently I upgraded to this uh, this little burrito thing that I've been, not a burrito, it's, like, it's a quesadilla, but uh, I'll give you guys the stats on this boy here too. Um, so this is like a buffalo chicken quesadilla, bro. I load this thing up with 200 grams of protein, uh, 25 grams of cheese, and then the, I have a carb balance like wheat, uh, burrito whatever you want to call this thing um so this meal right here this is like my most calories in the day this is 734 calories but it's not just the burrito i also have this and then after for a little bit if i'm still a little hungry most of the times i'll have uh a protein shake this is the vanilla right here lactose free so it doesn't cause bloating and stuff like that i usually have this just with water um just to hold off some calories so all in all all throughout the day man like if you count all the meals that's about a little over let me get it so i make sure i'm right here um yeah this is going to put you at exactly 206 calories i mean at 206 grams of protein um for the entire day i'm about 210 pounds so 206 grams of protein a day is like really good for me I honestly i could eat less if i wanted to but i just try to eat as much as i possibly can to maintain as much muscle as i possibly can while i'm also losing weight so this is going to be the whole full day of eating. I have recorded it like throughout the day, but it's honestly easier for me just to sit down and just give you guys everything. So, so just to go through it one more time, we start with one full cup of egg whites, two eggs, a protein bar. We jump that down to 200 to 200 grams of chicken, then a protein bar, and then we'll have like some type of carb in between our workout, um, which could be like I said, anything you want. Sometimes I even have French fries from like Wendy's or something like that, bro. Whatever. Um, from then, then we come home, we get the buffalo chicken uh, wrap, and then we finish it off with a protein shake it's going to be 206 grams of protein on the day um but yeah that is the full day of eating typically all right first movement uh i got this from samson uh he's a let me put the mic here actually he's a actually this may be a terrible place to put the mic why don't i be like a cornball and put it here on my on my head is that weird i feel like i don't know i feel like i'm not gonna do that where are we gonna put this mic you put it right here um See, I got this from Samson. If you guys don't like familiar with like bodybuilding, he won the open division this year. And I've always watched Seabum, but I've really watched like other lifters. So I watched him and he always starts with like this movement. So here we are. I'm gonna switch the angle for you guys. So what you're gonna see is when you do when you do do this the the key is you don't want to posture check almost but like you don't want to be like kind of like crinkling your back down like this you want to try to remain like a little upright like keeping your back as straight as possible even when you're like stretching forward and then bringing this back um you guys will see on another angle when i do it <sighs> All right, so that's a good two warm-up sets there. Uh, I can already feel my back warming up. So I'll probably adjust the weight, maybe like two or one-ish set of like a heavier weight, and then, uh, yeah, bro, it should be a really good back day. I got some food in me. Uh, today wasn't relatively a hard day. So yeah, man, I'm kind of like pumped for this lift. All right, so going into the, actually like going into the workout, we're done our warm-up. If you don't have the machines, like the things that I'm doing, I'm gonna talk about more so the theory of what I'm doing. So after you do the warm up, bro, you're already, your back's already warmed up pretty much if you've done the correct weight and whatever. Um, so when you go into like your actual sets of like training, bro, you don't have to do like another two warm ups again and then train. And then go to the next move, another two warm ups and then train. You really don't have to do that, bro. You're almost like wasting energy and like wasting your time. 
So since I've warmed up, after I do like a nice warm up, bro, like so I did the two sets with a good weight, then I put another two sets of like stronger weight, my back is essentially warmed up now. So now when I'm jumping into my main movements, I don't have to warm up again, bro. I'm already, my back is already, you know, it's there. So now, bro, I'm just gonna hop into this, uh, kind of like a, I don't even know, it's called an extreme row, it's like a low to high row almost. Um, but I'll probably do two to three sets of each, bro, of the next movements that we'll do. And I'll take them to a failure, again, trying to, I probably didn't talk about this, but I always do it in all my videos. Back is extremely hard to train because like you're using so many different muscles to train it. You may feel it in your forearms, your biceps, your shoulders, or wherever. Start with the weight lighter, and then at the top of your reps, try to squeeze your back even if you don't feel it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna begin to develop that mind to muscle connection, which is gonna allow you to start training your back more properly anyway. So before I was able to go a little heavier, I had to start with light weight, trying to squeeze, trying to fill my back. And then once you get that, you can like really start, you know, amping things up. So let's see. Does this look like not balanced to you guys? Because on my end, I'm talking to you like you're actually sitting here recording me. Anyway, uh, this bro is one of my classics that you could do. Every gym should have a barbell and a 45 pound plate. And if it doesn't, probably at the wrong gym. Take it for what it is. All right, this is a very rare machine. I have only seen this machine on YouTube and then when they put it in here finally. Probably one of my favorite machines, bro, for like my lats. Um, yeah, bro, this joint is, this, this is crazy. Here we go. Girl, love me now. Cause it goes down and out. All right, so this will be one of the last like real back moves that we'll do. I may do one or two more after this. We'll see. Um, but yeah, bro. Like now, I'm kind of at the point where like I'm like tired, I'm fatigued. So now I'm only really doing two sets, maybe three, if I'm just loving how it feels. Just taking it to a failure, really, bro, really challenging my back. Um, so yeah, bro. This machine is also awesome. I love this one too. But again, if your gym doesn't have like all these machines and stuff, that's fine. You could get by bro with like a dumbbell row or you know, just like a generic lat pull down, which is also fine. The barbell rows, you're fine. If you're rowing, you're growing. That's my my philosophy when it comes to that. That's what they don't tell you about lifting, bro. Like, you can live, you can be in the gym every single day and still not look the way you want to. Because I know some people are probably looking at me or looking at whoever and they're like, bro, I would look like, I wish I could look like him. And that person looks like they wish like they look like somebody else or whatever the situation is. So, all right, let's get this set right here. Two really hard sets, and then we're gonna start buys. I saw this on TikTok. I don't know if it's true or not, but some machines, like when you're like, if it's like a two thing, but the weight's on one side and not both, all like one arm might be working harder than the other. I don't know. So now if I do this machine, bro, I'll do one arm at a time. That's what I do. I don't know. Everyone has their thing. Ooh. 
So let's switch up to that. What we're gonna do now is like kind of like a brachialis curl just because you don't, I, I, I tend to train also like my forearms and like you wanna train this as well. So the brachialis curls helps that too. Um, you can use dumbbells. I just prefer an easy bar curl. It is more comfortable to me, but if you got dumbbells and you don't have one of these, you can take dumbbells bro and go just like this too. And that also works. You'll get a crazy uh, forearm pump with these ones. I'm hitting biceps now. I think my camera's about to die. Uh, but that's pretty much the end of like the workout, bro. Like I'll do a few more like biceps. I don't know when this thing's gonna die. That's unfortunate, bro. For you, speaking to you specifically, it's like you may be in a position where everything isn't going right. People aren't your friends, or you know, you may have lost your girl, or you may have failed this test, and you lost your job, and you have all these things going on in your life. I want you to remember that this is just the chapter in your life that's going to push you forward into the next one. That's going to give you that opportunity to be great. That's going to give you the opportunity to be happy. That's going to give you the opportunity opportunity to just be all the things that you want to be, bro. But right now, it's just you got to get tested. You have to be how much can you seriously handle? How much can you seriously handle on your mental, on your spirit, on everything? and still somehow show up day to day to be like, I'm here, I'm ready to work, I'm ready to be the best person that I can be and not falter because a lot of people in your shoes right now dealing with the stuff that you're going through would have folded, wouldn't have went and worked out today, wouldn't have went and saw their family today, wouldn't have showed up to their job, wouldn't have studied for that test, wouldn't have, you know, did all these things. So remember homie, like this is just one period of time in your life will get through this you will get through this and you're going to become better because of it and once you kind of implement that mindset just a little bit it really does humble you and keeps you grounded you know I, I truly believe I have that humble lab mindset where it's like regardless of what life throws at me whether good or bad my answer is always a humble lab because I'm just happy it's it, it really doesn't matter because whatever a law puts into my life was written as perfect for me I'm a true believer in that, so it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter whether it's good or it's bad. I'm like, okay, alhamdulillah, this is what Allah wrote is perfect for me, bro. I'm going to keep going. Um, and having that mindset, bro, has kept me so at bay of just being neutral and being relaxed and calm um, and just believing that no matter what, man, I'm always going to push forward. I'm going to be okay. And when things really start to hit the fan, I know that there's something around the corner that I'm going to be like, damn, man, I can't believe that that I'm here or that I received this or I got this opportunity and I want you to remember that too whether you're Muslim or not whether you're Muslim or not I want you to know that things are going to be okay that wherever in your life right now you are whatever you're struggling with whatever you're going through you will be okay you're going to be okay and your future is bright whatever dream you're pushing for is going to come whatever negativity you have going on in your life is only going to callous you to make you stronger and make you into a better individual in the future and at your core, you have to believe that because that is what's going to keep you going through these hard times. All right?